Section three of the Journal of the Reverend Francis Asbury, Volume one. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Marianne. Journal of the Reverend Francis Asbury, Volume one, Section three, May fourteenth to September fifth, seventeen seventy two. Thursday, fourteen. Went to the new church. Surely the power of God is amongst this people. After preaching with great assistance, I lodged at I. J.'s, and in the morning he conducted me to Gloucester, and thence we went by water to Philadelphia. Here I found a change. Brother Pilmore was come, and the house was given up, which pleased me well, as it was a burden to the people. Brother P. went to Mr. W.'s, and I went to Mr. W. R.'s. On Friday night I was heavily afflicted, and dear sister W. R., took great care of me. The next morning, through the mercy of God, I was something better, and preached in the evening. Lord's Day, 17. After preaching in the morning, I went to see G. H., who was near to eternity. He had peace in his soul. Some slight me in this place on account of my attention to discipline, and some drop off, but my work is to please God. Tuesday, 19. Went about sixteen miles into the country, and preached at eleven o'clock with energy of soul. A Presbyterian minister, who attended my preaching this morning, accompanied me part of the way back. We conversed by the way on the evidences of religion, the work of God, and sending out preachers. This morning I arose with more spiritual strength, and felt a great desire to do the will of God with all purity of intention, desire, and thought, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Wednesday, 20 went to Trenton, but as the court was sitting I was obliged to preach in a schoolhouse to but a few people, and as there were soldiers in the town I could hardly procure lodging. Thursday, 21. Preached on the other side of the river to a few simple people, and in the evening at Burlington, where the congregation was also small on account of the fair. Friday, 22. In the morning I rode home in great pain, but after dinner went ten miles down the river. Sunday, 24. We rode down to Greenwich, where I preached at ten o'clock to near three hundred people, collected from different parts. We then rode back to Friend P's, where we dined, and thence to Gloucester, which made near fifteen miles. I preached there at three o'clock to about two hundred people, and then went up the river in a boat to Philadelphia, where I preached at seven o'clock. Monday, 25. Was unwell, but went to Burlington, and preached in the evening, though very sick. Tuesday, 26 found myself very unwell in the morning, but visited a prisoner under sentence of death, and strove much to fasten conviction on his heart. Through the mercy of God, I hope the poor man was humbled. Wednesday, 27. Went to New Mills, where I preached at four o'clock, and again at ten o'clock the next morning. Friday, 29. I preached under the jail wall, and for the benefit of the prisoner, attended him to the place of execution. When he came forth, he roared like a bull in a net. He looked on every side and shrieked for help, but all in vain. Oh, how awful! Die he must, I fear, unprepared. I prayed with him and for him. How difficult it is, if I may use the term, to drench a hardened sinner with religion. I saw him tied up, and then, stepping on a wagon, I spoke a word in season and warned the people to flee from the wrath to come and improve the day of their gracious visitation. No more grieving the Spirit of God lest a day should come in which they may cry, and God may refuse to hear them. We then rode home to Philadelphia, where I exhorted in the evening, and found myself much more drawn out than I expected. Lord's Day, 31. Preached morning and evening with some life, but found that offenses increased. However, I cannot help it. My way is to go straight forward, and aim at what is right. June 1. Preached this morning at five o'clock, and this day I wrote to Mr. Wesley, and experienced a great deal of purity in my soul. Tuesday, too. Rose this morning between four and five, and was much quickened in preaching. Then went to Haddonfield at noon. Satan assaulted me this day, but the Lord helped and delivered me, for his mercy and truth's sake, and granted me life in my soul. Wednesday, three. Preaching at five at Manta Creek, I was favored with an opening and great power, after preaching there, about one hundred people went to Mr. T's, one and a half mile off, and there I also preached with life. Thursday, 5. 
at greenwich i was weak in body but had some liberty in preaching to about two hundred willing people but at gloucester i preached only to a few dead souls from this striking passage the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it i must observe that in this journey i have been kept in peace and had more freedom life and power than i ever experienced in the city saturday six sailing four miles up the river i came to philadelphia in great comfort lord's day june seven after preaching in the morning i was at the table with mr s and many felt the power of god though i felt but little myself we had a love feast to-day and several could testify that god was with us some of our jersey friends spoke of the power of god with freedom monday eight with much disagreeable company i set off for trenton where many felt the divine power accompanying the word preached wednesday ten after preaching on the other side of the river i returned to philadelphia and preached in the evening thursday eleven set off in the stage for bristol and crossed the water to see a man suspected of murder but found him very ignorant of things relating to his soul i then returned to philadelphia very unwell friday twelve i was a little better and rose to preach at five o'clock the lord was with me this day at intercession saturday thirteen hitherto the lord hath helped praised be his dear name lord's day june fourteenth after preaching in the morning with some freedom of mind i went to st paul's and afterwards spent the afternoon in my room then preached and met the society in the evening but felt great dryness and was grieved to see so much conformity to the world in the article of dress among our people tuesday sixteen set off for burlington and though weak and infirm i preached at night with liberty wednesday seventeen i bent my course for new mills but still grown for more life and want to be more holy thursday eighteen after preaching twice at new mills with great liberty and life i returned to burlington but was very ill that night and though quite unwell the next morning yet proceeded on my way to philadelphia lord's day june twenty one finding myself much recovered i preached with some animation monday twenty two this day my heart was in deep exercise tuesday twenty three walked down to gloucester point and then rode to brother c's and though very weak weary wet and low while it rained very hard i preached with some power to many people from these words as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i send it wednesday twenty four at greenwich i met with mr s who preached and baptized several people that seemed deeply affected we then rode together and had some conversation on the insult which mr s y had given mr w y as mr s knew that mr s y had preached for mr w y and was well acquainted with his doctrine he was surprised at his conduct he said that mr w y was undoubtedly a good man and had been useful to thousands thursday twenty five travelling back towards gloucester i called at squire pease and presented him with a petition for raising one hundred and fifty pounds to discharge the debt on our preaching-house at philadelphia he promised both to give himself and to propose it to others friday twenty six returned to philadelphia and preached at eight with some power i find that satan strives to sow discord among us and this makes me desirous to leave the city saturday twenty seven felt a great desire to live more to the glory of god and preached at night with some life received a letter from mr pilmore replete with accounts of his preaching abroad in the church to a large congregation and the like my heart is still distressed for want of more religion i long to be wholly given up to seek no favor but what cometh from god alone i want to breathe after the lord in every breath lord's day twenty eight this was a day of sweet rest to my soul and the lord gave me power to speak with some affection monday twenty nine set out for trenton with some loose and trifling company in the stage after preaching in the evening with some life and energy i went the next day to preach in the field and then returned and preached with freedom to many people in the courthouse july one went over the ferry and preached to many people among them were some fine women who behaved with airs of great indifferency returning to trenton i preached at night 
and the next morning at five after which i set off for philadelphia with unprofitable company among whom i sat still as a man dumb and as one in whose mouth there was no reproof they appeared so stupidly ignorant sceptical diastical and antithiastical that i thought if there were no other hell i should strive with all my might to shun that came home late and weary but preached with some comfort i have lately been blessed with much purity of intention and fervor of spirit but greatly thirst after living more in god saturday four went to burlington in order to attend the execution of one s a murderer and declared to a great number of people under the jail wall he healeth the broken in heart the poor criminal appeared penitent behaved with great solidity and expressed a desire to leave the world then returned to philadelphia gave an exhortation that night and found the lord's day a day of sweet peace monday six set out for burlington again and spent three days laboring among them many seemed much stirred up to seek the kingdom of god thursday nine returned and found some inward liberty in philadelphia saturday eleven was a day of peace and love to my soul lord's day twelve went through the usual exercises of the day and enjoyed some peace of mind our congregations here are small they cannot bear the discipline and doctrine but this does not move me monday morning i preached with life and longed to be as an even rising flame of fire tuesday fourteen went to the jerseys and preached at friend t's to near one hundred people though in the time of harvest and while preaching from these words you were sometime darkness but now ye are light in the lord many felt the power of truth when the darkness and its properties were explained after describing true religion to about one hundred souls at j c s i went on wednesday to greenwich and felt much shut up while preaching to about the same number on fear not little flock etc i then proceeded to gloucester which is one of the dullest places i have seen in this country the same night went to haddonfield and on the next day preached at j t s to a few attentive hearers who seemed somewhat affected by the truths of god especially one s k who was greatly concerned on account of his past life as he had been much devoted to company and liquor i felt afraid that his concern would not be permanent however he accompanied me to the ferry friday seventeen returned to philadelphia time enough for intercession and found it a good time both then and at the evening preaching lord's day nineteen after preaching in the morning i set off in the afternoon for trenton came thither on monday by noon and found life in preaching at night monday july twenty met with brother s from new york who informed me that i was to go to york which was what i did not expect but feel myself quite easy not being fixed in any place he gave me an account of mr w s good behavior though i fear after all he will settle at bohemia wednesday july twenty two in meeting the small society of about nineteen persons i gave them tickets and found it a comfortable time they are a serious people and there is some prospect of much good being done in this place after preaching on tuesday morning over the ferry and in the evening at trenton i took leave of them on wednesday morning and set off for philadelphia left philadelphia on the lord's day evening after preaching on these words if i come again i will not spare and on monday met with brother b went thence to new mills where i preached on tuesday night and wednesday morning and found the people there very affectionate then returned to burlington and found many friends from philadelphia we had power among us at night and the next morning at three i set off for amboy and on the way had some conversation with one of jacob b s disciples we came to the stage house through much rain and bad roads about seven o'clock thence we went to amboy and took lodging at a tavern having been kept in peace through this journey felt great courage in the work of god and go towards york in faith the congregation at amboy was small and they appeared to be such as cared but little for the gospel so that my hope of that place is but slender on saturday evening i preached with some power to a large congregation of rich and poor from these words even from the days of your fathers ye have gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them return unto me and i will return unto you after preaching with great liberty on the lord's day to many people at p v s and justice w s on staten island i set off on monday in a boat for new york and arriving about five o'clock found mr w who that night had preached his farewell sermon and told the people that he did not expect to see them any more i have always dealt honestly with him but he has been spoiled by gifts he has been pretty strict in the society but ended all with a general love feast which i think is undoing all he has done 
However, none of these things move me. My mind is calm, and my soul under a comfortable sense of God, and I am determined by His grace to keep on in the way of my duty, if it should be my lot to stand alone. August 4. My soul felt life, and power, and renewed courage. Discovering the unfaithfulness of some who first spoil a man, and then condemn him, I intend to keep such at a proper distance. In the love feast this evening, I found that the living could not bear the dead. Mr. W. rose up and spake as well as he could, against speaking with severe reflections on his brother. But all this was mere talk. I know the man and his conversation. Wednesday, 6. Felt satisfaction and life in meeting the society last night, and spent this day in retirement. Thursday, 7. Preached in York from Philippians, chapter 1, verses 24 and 25. To abide in the flesh is more needful for you, and having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith. Found liberty in my mind while addressing the people, and am determined, in the strength of the Lord, to aim at promoting His glory and to seek nothing but Him. Friday, 8. After preaching in the morning, I found the Lord near, and had great peace at intercession. It pleases me much to see the people diligent in attending the word, and find myself favored with liberty and the power of God in my labors among them, and humbly hope that God will make known His power among this people, and drive Satan from them, and that we shall yet see good days in this place. Saturday, 9. I found a degree of life in my soul, and on the Lord's day had power and light and life and love in speaking on these words. You were sometime darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. The congregations are steady, and we look for the power of God both in our own souls and among the people. Oh, my God, make bare thine arm. After preaching in the evening of the Lord's day, with some opening of heart and to a full house, I met the society, and then set out on Monday morning for New Rochelle, and preached the same night at Friend D's, about thirty miles from York. Tuesday, 12. My soul does not forget God, but my desire is still towards Him, and the remembrance of His name. On Wednesday I found my mind somewhat engaged, but on Thursday had some fears of coming short of eternal life. A cloud rested on my mind, which was occasioned by talking and jesting. I also feel at times tempted to impatience and pride of heart, but the Lord graciously blessed me with life and power in preaching at night, and I afterward found my mind fixed on God, and an earnest longing to be always holy in heart and life. After preaching on Friday at New Rochelle, from these words, We ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. I set out for York on a bad horse, and met with indifferent fare on the road, but reached York on Saturday, and there received a letter from my father and friend, Mr. Mather, who informed me of the preacher's returning to England. Preached also this evening with some satisfaction, but found broken classes and a disordered society, so that my heart was sunk within me. But it is still my desire to commit myself to God. Lord's Day, 17. Preached in the morning, and then went to preach at Newton, about twelve miles distant, in the evening. Friend S. was in company with me, and we were obliged to lodge at a tavern, but we were more serious than usual, and spent our time in useful conversation. As it rained, we had but few people at preaching in the morning. We then returned to York about ten o'clock. In this journey I have found my soul comfortable and alive to God, a sacred nearness to God, and power to withstand temptations, though in the afternoon of the next day I had cause to blame myself for trifling conversation at noon. Monday, 18. This has been a day of distress to my soul. I was opposed for meeting the society, because one or two classes met at that time, which seemed to me a very weak objection, as those classes might meet at another time. August 21. Preached this morning with great life in my soul, and felt a strong desire to be devoted to God, and more and more engaged to promote His glory both in heart and life. Oh, that my soul could be more intimately and sweetly united to the Lord! In the evening I preached with power, but have found my soul troubled within me on account of a party spirit, which seems to prevail too much in this place. But they must answer for their own conduct. My business is, through the grace of God, to go straight forward, acting with honesty, prudence, and caution, and then to leave the event to Him. Lord's Day, August 24. Preached morning and evening, and had peace in my soul. In the evening I met the Society, and read Mr. Wesley's letter. Monday, 25. Early in the morning we crossed the North River in order to go to Staten Island. 
Many people attended the word, but I do not know what to make of them, for though they seem fond of hearing, yet they do not appear to be much affected. On Tuesday I went to Amboy and dined with a mixed company of assemblymen, churchmen, Quakers, etc. Many of them came to hear me in sport, but went away very still. On my return I preached at Mr. W.'s to many people. On Thursday I returned to York and preached in the evening with some life. Friday my soul was kept in peace and love, and while preaching at night both myself and others felt the power of God in our souls. Saturday, 30. I preached with liberty and can rejoice in God my salvation, finding an increasing desire to live to Him alone. Lord's Day, 31. Found life both morning and evening, and had many people. I also went to church and heard Dr. O. preach on the divinity of Christ. Tuesday, September 2. My heart was fixed to seek the Lord, and found some nearness to Him, and life in my soul. I preached also in the evening with some comfort. Wednesday, 3. Preached at 5, and found my soul this day fixed to do the will of God. Thursday, 4. Preached in the morning, and found this a blessed day. My soul was lively, and my heart was filled with holy thoughts of God, and felt a strong and pure desire to pray, and mourn, and long for God. In the evening I preached from these words, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him will I confess before my Father who is in heaven. Friday, 5 found my soul grieved at the discovery of such parties among the people. Who can find a faithful man? End of section 3